Let's take a look at finding confidence intervals about the population mean difference um, be between mass pair data. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Given reaction time to red and reaction time to blue, create a 99% confidence interval about the population mean difference between red and blue. And then we've got some red values, and then we've got some blue values. Okay. Well, let's go into statistics one far. And press enter on it. And um, in D1, we're going to put in our red values. And the reason why is because it says the population mean difference between red and blue. Red comes first here, so red is what we're going to put first. You have to read your problem to see what it's uh, asking. If it said the difference between blue and red, we would put blue in D1. Okay, so we'll put point. 425, enter, point 511, enter, point 712, enter, point 651, enter, point 499, enter, and point 505, enter. Let me double check those numbers. That's good. Now right her over to D2, and this is where I put in my, my second values, the blue values. So I got 0 0.404, enter, 0.622, enter, 0 0.605, enter, 0.719, enter, 0.813, enter, 0.350 enter and let me double check those those look okay now we want to in d3 we want to subtract these so d1 minus d2 the reason why is we put the red values in d1 blue and red 2 and it says the difference between red and blue so that's why we do that that manner there might be a very easy way to do this i've sat there and tried to figure this out uh, for a while this morning and and finally i found a, a way to do it that doesn't involve the menu here okay if I go to my my home button and I want to put in some kind of uh, calculation here I want to do D1 uh, minus D2 because D remember if I go to numeric view D1 is our first column D2 is our second column so I click home now um, I'm gonna press my toolbox and um, then I'll push my actually I want bars so let me escape out of that. Okay, press VARs. And then choose 1 for statistics, 1 VAR. And choose 4 for numeric view. And then you'll see D1 is 1. So I press 1. Minus, and then VARs. 1 for statistics, 1 VAR. I'm just pushing a number that's in front of it. 4 for numeric, the number in front of it. And I want D2, which would be 2. And I want to store this. Well, the store is, um, I do shift, and then this EEX key. And you see it puts a little triangle on there. And then I want to do VARs. One for statistics, one VAR. Four for numeric. And three for D3. And then press enter. Okay, now if I go back to my numeric view, I see that D3 has numbers in it. And specifically, they're taking... Uh, the D1 value minus the D2 value. For example, 0.425 minus 0.404 gives us 0.021. Okay, now our data we're going to be working with is in D3. And um, when you when you come here and you choose um, your stats, you see it's um, working with 0.425. That refers to my, my first column here. If I choose column here, it says column count. Well, um, we got three columns, but if I choose one, it's still working off of that. So realize that you you can't get your, sum, your uh, summary statistics directly off of that. Because what we want, what want to go off of is off of D3. Now, there's ways around that. Um, we could have put our red values in D2 and our blue values in D3 and did the calculation D2 minus D3 and stored in D1. But anyway, 
keep in mind your data is in D3, the one you're working with, the difference. Okay, I'll press my apps, and I'll go to inference. Press enter. And we want confidence interval, so if it isn't already selected, you press enter, you highlight confidence interval, and then you press enter. And uh, go down to type and press enter. The one we want is the T int one moo. That's um, population mean. And you may have to down arrow to get it down to there. Once you got it highlighted, you just press enter. Okay. And then we go on to plot as a graph. And if I go to numeric here, um, we want to bring in uh, X bar, S, and N. And if I choose import, you can uh, ask where to, to import it from. So you see it says statistics one bar, and that's fine. I can down arrow to here and press enter. And you see now I have three columns. This is why you have to use the import feature on this one. You can't just write down the summary statistics because the other one was based upon D1. So now I'll press enter on D3 because that's where my differences were. And I'll choose the OK. And now it changes all these based upon uh, the value. I originally thought that you had to do that on each one of these. Then I realized that it updated all three whenever you do an import. I'm definitely not an expert in HP Prime. I'm getting better, but I'm not an expert. Uh, create a 99% confidence interval. So here I'm going to put in my point .99, enter, and I want to choose calculate. And lower and upper is going to be our, our answer. Now let me get over here and um, write this down. Okay, I'll take it to um, two decimal places I get, I guess. Negative uh, 0 0.31, comma, 0 0.24. Now, again, we're saying that um, how we interpret that is we're 99% confident that the true value of the differences between red and blue uh, fall somewhere in this range. Okay, then I'll click OK to get out of this and press apps to go back to your main menu. In this video we took a look at how to find a confidence interval of the differences um, between uh, match pair data mean, with mean.